fue algo real. Estas son cosas que muchos de los jóvenes eh, se enfrentan cada día a día, como enfrentan la envidia, la soledad, el enojo, la lujuria y muchas cosas más, el orgullo. Y esto fue actualmente un testimonio de una persona. Esta persona pasó por todo esto durante dos semanas. Entonces les quiero presentar a Daisy y les va a explicar más sobre el significado de este drama. Okay, so this drama was inspired by something I went recently. I felt lonely, fear, I was prideful, shame, guilty, envy. Um, I never thought I would go through this. I just didn't. It happened, but not like this. It was a spiritual battle, a battlefield of the mind. And um, I felt alone, like no one could help me. And uh, I don't like speaking in front of people, so I'm just going to read what I wrote. Um, I felt lonely even though there were so many people around me that loved me. It wasn't a physical battle, it was a, an emotional and mental battle. I believed all of Satan's lies, and I was speaking them. I had a breakdown, it got to the point where it became painful, overwhelming. I couldn't eat or sleep. I was walking around with my mind somewhere else. I let my past literally mess with my present. I wasn't advancing. Satan was trying to keep me captive. He knows God's amazing plans for me. So he attacked me in the number one place he could, my mind. With my weakness, I was ashamed of not being able to get up, that it was taking me this long to snap out of it, to shake it off. It was embarrassing for a Christian until I realized that in my weakness is when I'm closer to God. In my weakness, I'm, I become stronger. So on a Tuesday, I hit rock bottom. I didn't know what to do, so I got on my knees and I cried like a baby. I asked my Heavenly Father to come down and give me a hug. I screamed with my heart, desperate for help. Instantly, I felt his hug. I felt peace and comfort. He showed me this vision of him taking off the chains. So the process started on Wednesday, but I was alive and God called me to a fest. Late that night, Josue called me asking me to do another drama for this event. I remember feeling like, really? You gotta be kidding me. I had too much going on, so I figured I would just look it up on YouTube. So I asked him, what was it going to be on? He said, the armor of God. So I just laughed. I knew the armor of God. It hit me then. All I had to do was put it on. It was that easy. So Thursday, I go on the fast. I ask God for help with the drama. He says to do it on my mission. It was a process coming out of this, constantly fighting. I decided, <laughs> every time I would, every day I would look in the mirror and practice what I preached, declaring I was worth it, declaring I was not alone, that I was a good person, that I trusted God. It was really hard. I cried every time because I didn't believe it. I had believed all of Satan's lies. That Sunday, Pastor John preached about moving on, letting go and truly believing, not with the mind, but with your heart, that Jesus took all of that for you, that you're precious and that you don't need anyone else but him. That Sunday, everything became better because I realized I had all the power to stay firm and win this battlefield of the mind. I'm into that, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to explain what it means to put the six pieces of the armor. Number one, the belt of truth. What is the opposite of a lie? Can anyone tell me? The truth, yes. One of the biggest lies that many young girls are facing today is that in order to be beautiful, or in order to be loved, you need to be beautiful. So that's a big lie. That's the biggest lie ever. No, don't believe that. So you have to know who you are, and knowing that you're worth it, that you can do things through Christ, that you have authority, because you are His or her. The second one is the breast of plate of righteousness. It simply means asking for discernment, knowing what is God has, knowing what is of God, what is right from wrong. The third is putting on the shoes of gospel, in which is the gospel of peace. This means that spreading His word with testimonies such as the one you just heard, and filling your heart with the word, reading the Bible, and emptying yourself to others, like sharing the burden to others, confessing your sins. The fourth one is the shield of faith, believing that God is with you, God is with us, who can be against us. <laughs> Having faith that the storm is temporary, 
that you're only going through for a short period of time and that God hasn't left you and that after the storm you will receive many blessings. Amen. The fifth one is the helmet of salvation. You have to understand that no matter, no matter your past, no matter your present, and no matter your future, you have been saved, you are forgiven. Amen. Give it all to Him. It has been done in a cross a long time ago. Amen. You are saved by His grace. He fights with you. He fights your battles. And you have victory in Him. And the final one is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word, the Word of God. Reading His Word, seeking His voice, which will lead you to the truth, discernment, wisdom, and knowledge. Declaring His Word, speaking it out loud. So in the drama, she was declaring what the things were saying. You have to do the opposite. You have to say, I'm worth it. I'm a good person. I am forgiven. So say it out loud, knowing there is power in the name of Jesus. Thank you.